I'd like to show you this lo lovely little tiny thing, 350 watt griddle that, that I bought and what you can do with it. Okay, so this is my mess here this morning. And um, this is my batter. This is the little tiny griddle, like it's small. Look, here's a knife and here's the griddle. I think it's about four inches. Anyway, um, this, oh wow, look at that. Look at that, look how it puffs up and I'll show you the recipe that I used in a very basic cookbook. Oh, there, there we go, there's the page. So this is the pikelets here and this is the recipe. made them like that with a little bit of sugar but today I made the batter and I put in fresh basil and some lovely mature cheddar so let's have a look look at this it's a little non-stick um, griddle this is very impromptu as you can see look at that it cooks it on both sides at once and I'll put it down and it's got a little uh, thing on the top here and when it's dark like that it means it's ready to go so I'll put in some more in you go put in the batter give it a bit of a smooth around because um, the last lot that was a bit too much in there shut the griddle the lights come on so it's heating up again there's no there's no temperature gauge on this it's just it's hot <laughs> It's not hot enough. <laughs> when you want to turn it off, you pull out the plug. So that's my little tiny thing that I wanted to share with you today because um, for van dwellers and for people that live in tiny spaces and people that live off grid with very small systems like mine, this is perfect. Light on, light off, light on, light off. Oh look, see there's some steam. So have a sneak preview. See how much it's puffed up? Um, it's a great little thing. So I've added it to my collection. The other thing that I use a fair bit is a 250 watt, I think that's what it is, anyway, low wattage rice cooker. And I cook everything in it. And we might as well, hey. If we're making electricity while the sun shines, Mm, 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 mm. Yum, 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 yum. Um, why would we be using gas, which we pay for? And it's too hot to be using the wood stove. So yes, let's uh, let's use what we've got. And today, again, we've got sunshine. Very bright very bright it's a lovely day actually and I'll put on the coffee which I will put on on the gas because I don't have a low wattage coffee and part two for today is making this wonderful fresh beetroot, apple, and fresh zucchini uh, salad, which is perfect with everything, absolutely everything. It's wonderful with lasagna, it's wonderful on crackers, it's wonderful with cream cheese on the pikelets. And I'm gonna use this 220 watt little um, processor here. I'm gonna put the beetroot in first because it's really hard, then the green apple, and then last of all the zucchini putting salt and pepper and the juice of a lime and it's delicious i have to tell you it is absolutely delicious so that's what's next that was about i don't know three four seconds maybe and that's the beetroot done so just about anyway there's a few lumpy bits in there but just about done next is the apple there's too much in there so 
uh, this is two beetroots, last time I did one. So I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to do the apple and zucchini separate. Then I'm going to do the juice, lime juice and salt and pepper in a bowl. So that's it. Everything uh, is, is processed. Which you could grate it by hand if you wanted, or you could use a, um, you know, one of those things that makes little strips. You could do that. The processors are just nice and fast, and um, I've got it, and I make the power to use it. So now a little bit of uh, flaky sea salt, which is nice. Use the best you can because you know bad salt doesn't really improve the flavour of anything. Okay, so now I'm going to do pepper and then all the lime juice. Okay, and give it a taste test because you may want to uh, adjust the salt and the pepper. Mm. That is really nice. So this is what I'm going to put on top of the basil and cheese pie clips. I'm going to put cream cheese and then this wonderful beetroot. It's, it's not really a pickle, it's because the, well maybe it is actually, salt and acid from the, the lime. And I put in the lime zest as well. I have a little zester here which is one of my favourite little tools. Um, so I, I put the zest in first before I squeeze the lime juice. Oh my gosh, that is so, so wonderful. Do try it, won't you? Um, now I'm off to eat a basil, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, and lime, beetroot, apple, cockazelle zucchini on a pie clip. See you later. So, till next time. Time for a cup of tea. See you later. Bye.